Hey guys, this is Nathan Schmidt with PixelApocalypse.com and I'm here to bring you our fourth and final installment in our Battlestar Galactica Online series. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is when I start hitting milestones like hit level 5, hit level 10, if I get involved in some in really sweet PvP, I'll, I'll start up for apps and do a video. But uh, at this point, I think I've got a, a, a good enough feel for the game to actually kind of sum up my impressions, sum up my experience, and, and give you guys the, the yay or nay, uh, so to speak. So in this video, we're going to cover a few things. Uh, I did get to uh, Delta Canopus, uh, which is a system where Pegasus is stationed, and I talked to Chief Tyrrell. Not a whole lot there. It gives you some more information, fills up a couple plot holes, like why Vipers have FTL drives, and, and where all these interesting and cool-looking ships are coming from, even though we didn't see them in the TV series. Tyrrell kind of explains all that. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, definitely head to Delta Canopus and see him. And other than that, Basically, I am entering the grinding phase, I think. Uh, I'm at level 3 right now. Adama won't give me any more missions till I level up a little bit further. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about skills, leveling, and all that good nonsense. And while I do that, I'm going to grind a little bit. So let's undock here real quick. By the way, I just got blowns up because I ran out of ammo and I haven't figured out how to reload my cannons. I had over 2,000 light HE rounds in my hold and they're in my cannons now, but for some reason in the thick of battle I couldn't reload my cannons, so I died, which sucked ass. It was horrible. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about skills real quick. Now, the more XP you gain, you're the more uh, if you've ever played EVE Online you know that you have to buy skill books and train those skill books to acquire a new skill well this is very much the same way um, you don't you buy skills using experience points that you gain from completing assignments missions and uh, just killing enemy AI and those uh, but then you have to set those skills to train um, I'm currently training gunnery 2 and I have six minutes left about um, and your XP also goes towards your rank so I'm pretty close to a promotion here I've got a, a little more than a third of the way left till I get my next promotion hopefully Adama will give me some more missions then because I'm not a huge fan of grinding uh, but so far I mean at, the, at such a low level the grind hasn't taken very long it hasn't taken my uh, it hasn't taken me very long to work my way up to this point so I guess that's a good thing I don't know how it is at more most um, at more advanced levels but as of right now the grind isn't too terribly bad now your skills are all in your skill window and basically what you could do is set a uh, skill to train and it'll give you the training time here so if I wanted to train gunnery 3 next that would take me 2 hours and 15 minutes Okay, and I think I'm getting fired on. So let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, I am getting fired on. That was gay as hell. Let's see if this colonial outpost is going to help me out. If you just saw right there, what I did was I targeted the missile that was launched at me. And this is this is really a really neat feature of the game, and also a really important one. Um, especially in PvP because basically what you're looking at is be having the ability to target incoming missiles and knock them out of the sky is it, I mean it gives everybody a role even the lowest of levels I'm level 3 but and I can go into PvP and play escort to the line ships and keep them from taking a ton of damage from other line ships from Cylon line, line ships that are you know missile spamming basically so that's always a good thing and it gives everybody a role it gets everybody involved even the lowest level viper jocks you know they all have something to do and all have something to contribute which is a really nice feature and not something you see in a lot of MMOs a lot of MMOs it's like well I'm not even gonna bother even jumping into PvP until I'm very close to max level basically so we've got another enemy ship over here and he's going down pretty fast so yeah we'll go and engage him while I talk to you guys the community that so far is has been fantastic um, I haven't 
I haven't really experienced a community like this since my days in SWG and I'm thinking that a lot of it has to do with the fact that it is the Battlestar Galactica IP where all anybody playing this game is aware of Battlestar Galactica or and a fan more than likely um, we all love it we all want to be involved in this game and it really creates a nice community where everybody is helpful everybody is is getting involved um, just last night uh, or maybe it was the night before you know the Cylons got within one jump they had pushed us back in, with to within one jump of Galactica and we just told you know somebody said in chat okay they're one jump away from Galactica let's get our heads out of our asses and we totally rallied and, and pushed them all the way back to Cylon space which was really really cool uh, I have been noticing a few more bugs as my time with the game uh, has increased uh, dialogue bugs are, are really funny. I'm finding more and more of them. Uh, I did, for some reason, I'm getting uh, in, in chat, I'm getting chat is unavailable right now. Reason your account has been banned. Ban expires on, on 2 17 2011. But I haven't talked to anybody today. And I didn't talk to, I haven't talked to, to anybody in the last couple days. I think the only thing that I said in spatial today was. Uh, can I get an invite to group? And all of a sudden, I got a band message, which is really weird. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's a bug, or maybe somebody's playing a trick on me. I'm not sure. Um, but like I said, the community's been great. It's only growing, and it seems like everybody is really, really involved, um, at least on the Colonial side. I kind of get the feeling that the Cylon side is where the heavy PvP uh, base is going. Um, the Colonials, I've noticed, have a lot of trouble getting it together, getting organized, and, and fighting as a unit, whereas the Cylons seem to be on top of their shit at all times. They're just... They're not running the server that I play on, but I don't know, give it a month and they might be, unless the Colonials really kind of step it up and, and do a little bit of damage. Uh, today hasn't been so bad. Today, here, we can take a look at the, uh, the map and you can see that we're holding a lot of systems, whereas the other night, this entire bottom section was red. I mean, just all red. They had pushed us back all the way back to Epsilon Crow and... Galactica sits at Alpha Seti, one jump away. So, it, w not to bore you guys with the grinding, I will say that I, I, I've really enjoyed my ah, gunnery training two completed. Fantastic. Maybe I can do some real, real damage, hopefully. But I, I have enjoyed my time with the game. It's been a blast. It has been. I mean, Big Point did a really good job of, of creating a game. Not the most original game. It does take a lot of aspects from other MMOs. Uh, very heavily Eve influenced. I'm finding. Uh, you know, but the game. Oh, God damn it! I'm trying to sum up a thought here, and you're shooting at me. Fuck you. Um. Big Point did a really good job of, of putting together a game that was going to speak to Battlestar Galactica fans um, and, and get them involved and make them want to be a part of it. Uh, my only real... Uh, my only real complaint about the game that I've noticed is that it seems like you're, we are getting pushed to drop some money. and to stay uh, competitive with the people that are paying for their gear and you know for their experience I mean you could buy experience boosters and you could just flat out buy experience basically um, and I think a lot of people are taking advantage of that that's why we're seeing you know a ton of people uh, especially in PvP that are rocking line ships already and doing you know one shot and vipers and whatnot but for a player like me who really has no urge to jump into a line ship or, or larger who just wants to be a viper jack and not have to pay for the game uh, I do feel like I'm getting a little bit left behind um, granted I probably am not putting in the hours that some of these heavier players are um, I'm only doing like maybe one, two hours a night, but you know that that's an issue. And if you're not looking to, and as time goes on in the game, it probably will only widen that gap between casual players who just want to, you know, be Viper Jacks and and 
come in and have a good time and, and not grind for three, four hours a day. And those people that are actually spending money and getting the big line ships and, and really running the server. Uh, but yeah, I, the game is, I'd say, in beta and for a, a browser-based game and a free game, I gotta say it's a solid B. It's, I, I can't tell you how much fun I've had uh, not only doing these videos, but you know, just experiencing the game, playing it. I, was, I wasn't holding out a lot of high hopes for this game, uh, but it's pro big points proved me wrong in every way and I couldn't be happier about it. So kudos to Big Point. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video series. Like I said, uh, I'll probably it'll probably be maybe a couple weeks before I do another one, uh, or if I hit like a milestone or get involved in some very cool, then of course I'll do a video about it. But otherwise, it's been great, guys. Visit the site www.pixelapocalypse.com. Uh, if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, we're going to have some more video content coming uh, in the next couple weeks. I'm fairly sure that we're going to have a Crisis 2 video review. Uh, I, that's a little uh, off in the future, but we're going to be doing a, a Bulletstorm video review. I believe a Killzone 3 uh, video review. Yeah, we might just do some fun, you know, fucking around type of videos, which are always always end up getting us <laughs> taken so seriously in the industry. But anyways, thanks guys, uh, and I'll talk to you later.